What's up? It's your self-proclaimed cinema showgun here, and last night I reported to you all about a school shooting that took place at Oxford High School in Michigan. And I told you guys that once I got more information about this, I will be right back here on my channel to report it to you all. Now, I got this little tidbit of information last night, but because everyone involved in this situation is so young, I didn't want to go ahead and jump the gun and report it to you all. I wanted to vet it and just wait for it to be officially confirmed before I came out and said it, but the shooter has been identified as Ethan Crumbly, a 15-year-old who also attended Oxford High School. Now, upon further investigation, I stumbled across hours of video footage from this kid. Like, he has tons of videos on YouTube, Instagram, various different social media sites, and most of them were from when he was a little bit younger, and I was just going over them, trying to see if there was any weird signs there. And I haven't gone over every video yet, but I just want to show you a couple of little clips of who this Welcome kid back is. back to my channel, Ethan here. Um, I'm actually pretty very excited. Um, so just like a couple minutes ago, um, I got a new channel. So we have my Santa Finder Ethan channel, the one I'm video on here right now. And then I start a new channel, um, which is Santa Finders Vlogs. Um, it doesn't have any videos uploaded on it, but I'm pretty sure I might get a video tonight or tomorrow on my vlogs. It's just a channel all about vlogs, so... Okay, so it's just a channel about vlogs. Like, nothing else but vlogs. Like, probably where I do what I talked about in the last recent video. Um... So that channel is just basically vlogs. Um, it still may be in progress. I'm not fully sure. Um, there's a little picture I've taken for the cover screen just like I did for this channel. I'm not sure if it went up or if it's not there. But I will try to fix that if it's not. But So basically I'm just doing a video to let you know um, that I'm making... I got a new channel coming. Um... Just all about vlogs, like no gaming or anything. But this channel is just free for anything. Vlogs, gaming, basically anything. Um, by the way, if you have seen my ship um island battle video, my ship is actually like So that is Ethan Crumbly. Now keep in mind that he is older now, so I don't assume that he looks the exact same way. But the media is still running with all these pictures of him from when he was like nine and eight and ten and eleven. And I hate that every time something big happens in the news, it seems like they roll with pictures of these kids when they were younger. Like, show us what they look like now. You know, because from the back, I do have a picture of him getting put into the police car and definitely doesn't look like he looks the exact same way now. Definitely doesn't look like he looks as innocent. But regardless of how he looks, let's acknowledge what this kid is. He is a domestic terrorist and he is an evil monster. Every time there's a school shooting, I feel like there's um, a certain effort to turn the, the shooter into a victim. Like, oh, what about bullying? He was a victim of bullying. The kids were so mean to him. And I get it. Bullying sucks. Bullying sucks. I get it. I don't agree with bullying. But we got to stop doing this. Every time something like this takes place, it's, oh, what about his mental health? What about what medicine he was on? What about bullying? No. What about the fact that this kid was an evil killer? Because that's what this kid is. I don't care what bullying you went through. There is no excuse for doing something like this. All right? Kids get bullied every day. It sucks. It's horrible. But it's never an excuse to go to school and just kill random kids. But every time something like this happens, it seems like there's more conversation around the bullying aspect of things as opposed to what the hell is going on in our society to where kids are doing this. You know, I feel like we're going into a, a even more dangerous place in today's society because I feel like people are getting softer. And I'm not trying to be mean here because I really do not like bullying. But at the same time, we can't keep using it, using it as an excuse for people doing things like this. You know what I mean? And the more we do that, it's like the more we enable future generations of people to feel that way. You know, in this kid's mind, he probably felt what he did was justified because 
People called him a few bad words and maybe shoved him into a locker. When that's not the case, regardless of what this kid went through at school, it's not a justification for what he did. So we need to stop that. We need to nip that in the bud. And like I said, I feel like future generations are getting softer and softer and softer, and they're more incapable of dealing with ridicule and with dealing with bullying and what have you. We have to toughen these kids up to a certain extent to where they could they could go and take whatever they're facing at school. And it sucks, and I get it. Well, we definitely have to have conversations about bullying and stuff like that too. But we can't just keep using that as an excuse. So I feel like we need to combat them both at the same time. And every time something like this happens, another school shooting happens, we got to stop and making excuses for these kids. And let's just stop, let's not even call them kids, let's just stop making excuses for these monsters. For these monsters. Now, Ethan had tons of stuff that he posted, tons of videos and different things that he posted. And for the most part, the older videos, I couldn't really, you know, it just seemed like he was a normal kid, talking about normal kid stuff. But I know that the posts got darker and darker. And some of them, like, re some of his recent posts were just downright insane and absolutely was telling everyone what he was about to do. And we're going to get into that into, in the next video. Because he has some recent posts that I don't see how anyone could have ignored. And we're going to dive into that. I, I need a whole video to talk about that. So we're going to dive into that soon. But for now, what we're touching on right here is the fact that everyone always wants to make excuses for people when things like this happen. I'm done with the excuses. I'm absolutely done with the excuses. Now, Ethan, it turns out that he got this gun from his father on Black Friday. Now, there's conflicting reports out there. Some people think that he went and took his dad's gun. Some people are saying that the father actually gave this to him. I'm not sure which one. I do know there's videos of him doing target practice and social media posts of him holding the gun, talking about the gun. You can even go and look on YouTube. He's commented under other videos of people reviewing the gun. So I'm not sure if the dad got gifted him the gun or what. But I'm not trying to be mean here, but I have to be honest. Looking at Ethan, this is not the type of kid you want to give a gun. All right? I'm not someone who wants to take all guns away. I'm also not someone who's like a total radical gun enthusiast. I'm just, you know, I'm not, I don't want to say I'm indifferent. I definitely agree with the right to bear arms and defend yourself. And I understand why that's important. So I don't want to turn this into a gun debate either. But at the same time, I feel like you have to have a, as a parent, you need to have a good gauge of who your kid is. And if I'm being honest with you, when I see this kid, this is the type of kid I want to have a gun. I know kids that, that are this age that go out hunting with their fathers and stuff like that at the age of 15. This kid right here. Totally looks like if you got him a gun, he's definitely going to go to school and shoot someone. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be mean, but it's time that we call it how it is. This kid looks like someone, or this monster, looks like someone who is probably getting bullied. Common sense tells you not to buy this kid a freaking handgun. Or not to allow him access to it. Rifles are one thing, and we could all debate about that, but it's not like he's going out there and teaching his kid to hunt or anything like that. And we could debate over whether or not parents should be allowing their kids to do target practice and all that. I'm not here for that debate. What I'm here to say is know your kid and be honest with yourselves about your kids. This kid, I don't know this kid from a can of paint, but just by looking at him, and I'm not trying to be mean or to sound like a bully here, but by, by looking at him, I can tell this is not the type of kid I want with a handgun or any gun, or any weapon for that matter. Because of various reasons. And the craziest part about it all is if you just, if the parents just looked at this kid's Instagram or one of his social medias, if they just glanced at it within the days leading up to this event, 
then it was right there in front of their faces. He didn't hide what he was about to do. He let everyone know. He put it on full display right there. As almost as, as if he was begging for his parents to acknowledge what was going on. So the question here is, how responsible is the father in this situation? Can he at all be held accountable for some of the things that went down? What do you guys think? I mean, when I really, really think about it, I have mixed feelings on it, of course, but I feel like the father may need to pay a price here as well. Now, we know that Ethan is in custody. He's in juvenile custody, which I feel kind of strongly about that as well. When someone does something like this, don't go put them in juvenile. Put them with the big boys. You want to put your big boy pants on and act like you're big and bad and go shoot people at high school? Put them with the big boy in the big boy jail. Don't put them with the juveniles who are in jail for skipping class and stupid shit like that. No, put them with the real killers. Put them with the real, you know what I mean? I hate that. I absolutely hate that. Once you do something like this, you should definitely be tried as an adult. Once you do something like this, you shouldn't see the inside of a juvenile. Hell no. Go ahead and throw his ass right into prison. I don't give a damn where you throw him. But don't throw him around these other kids who are in there for stupid little reasons. A kid who just went on a murdering spree. But his family already has him a lawyer. He's refusing to talk to police. And we're going to see where it goes from here. But for now, I think a lot of people have a lot of explaining to do. Not only his father, but the school board as well. And I'm going to get into that in the next video. So go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and hit that notification bell. I do have a lot more information coming soon. But for now, I want to hear what you think about all of this down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button. Go to the description of this video. I will have my cash out if you would like to support the channel. You know, YouTube doesn't monetize videos like this. So I don't make any money from doing these videos. Also, I will have a link to my Twitter if you'd like to follow me on there. And a link to my other YouTube channel. You can go subscribe over there. But as always, find some time out of your day to go watch a movie.